Hi guys, 742 on Max here, bringing you guys another video. Now today I'm going to share or shed some light on something that's been happening to me a lot recently in iMovie, and the same has been happening to me in Final Cut Pro X. Now this is the full version of Final Cut Pro X, I actually bought this the other day and I love it, except for one small thing. Now um, I appreciate that many of you watching this video won't be from my channel, uh, but I have posted on my Twitter quite a few times our video rendering error 50. Now as you guys can tell this video is about the video rendering error 50 and why it happens in both iMovie and Final Cut Pro, it is the exact same. Now obviously Final Cut Pro is a much more expensive version of iMovie and you can do a lot more cool effects and a lot more things like that, but it is a lot more likely to happen in Final Cut Pro. It does happen in both iMovie and Final Cut Pro as I've already said, but it is more likely to happen Final Cut Pro just because there's so many more things that you can do in it. Now uh, for the purpose of the video guys, I'm not going to share a video, I'm just going to show you guys why it happens just with a couple clips. So I haven't done anything to this video, it's just got my bog standard intro there, nothing done to it, normally I'll edit it of course, and then it's just got this title, um, this custom title that I haven't changed anything for. So straight away guys, if I were to play this video, you can see it's working perfectly fine, nothing wrong with it. Uh, you guys can see it playing up here, maybe with a bit of delay, and then you'll see that there's no transition in between the two clips when it gets to it in about two seconds seconds there you go nothing wrong in between and then it goes with this and you can customize this whatever you want you can go like this you can customize it whatever but there's nothing wrong with this at the moment so say this was the final video and i want to share it to youtube or wherever you want to share it to it's the exact same no matter where you want to share it to so if i'd share this as youtube i'd go up there and go file share or i'd go over here and click share but i'm not going to for the purpose of the video because I don't want it to come up with the message for me. So I'm going to show you guys that this clip at the moment, does it look perfectly fine to you? Well, I can tell that it isn't. This would come up with the video rendering error, uh, error for me already, video rendering error 50. Now, you guys would be very frustrated because you might have been uploading a video for the past hour or two hours or even five seconds, depending on what your internet speed is and how long your video is. And I know full well how long editing can take getting loads and loads of clips together, and this happened to me yesterday, and I just couldn't figure out why it happened. And then I went through the clips and I noticed something really small. So at the end of each clip, guys, you can't see anything. It looks perfectly fine. But if you're to, if you're to click on each individual, uh, individual click, I'll just show you guys again, Click on each individual click and then scroll back. Can you guys see how that colour there, where I'm clicking now, has turned red? I'm going to hover over it for the time being. Where the mouse is at the moment, just at the end of this intro clip before the rotation, you guys can see that it's red. Okay, I'm going to click off it again. You guys can see how it turns red here. And if I go like that, you guys can see that it's red. Now the red is the bad thing, that's what you don't want. That will cause video rendering error 50. And this split second, it's only about 0.3 of a second or 0.2 of a second, that will cause your video to not share. All you want to do guys, uh, first of all, if this video rendering error, ha uh, error happens a few seconds into the video, like you've just tried to share it, and about three minutes into sharing it happens, you know it's roughly, if it, it will give you the percentage shared here, it might say 3%, you know that the error is 3% into the video. If there's more than one error, guys, it will, there will be an error early on, and an error possibly in the middle or at the end. If the video fails to share after, say, 90% shared, or it's got up to 90% shared, either you've lost internet connection, for a split second which is uh, which is pretty it happens a lot of the time and uh, you should just retry the share retry the share process to youtube or or wherever you're sharing it to or you know that the, there's now an error 90 second or 90 percent into the video so you just need to scroll across here and find it 90 uh, 90 percent in this is why i've just showed such a small clip for you guys so if i were to share this clip to youtube it would take me about 15 seconds 20 seconds to do about four five maybe about 10 seconds into the share process uh, i'd get an error it would say come up here where my mouse is now saying video rendering error 50 uh, it would come up with that so once again guys I'll click on this and you guys can see how it goes red now that is what causes the video rendering error 50 and there's such a simple fix to do it all you have to do is make your clip a weeny bit smaller until it turns yellow and that will completely fix the problem so you guys can see here it's red this is just the import of the clip it is red at the moment the most common thing with this is it's to do with intros you import your intro to each video and it might just be a split second long or for whatever reason iMovie or Final Cut Pro might not just like it so here, can you see it's red at the moment? 
I'll just scroll it a weeny bit back into his yellow. The ex pretty much the exact same length, just cuts off a split second of the video, and that will now share. If I was to move it a weeny bit more to the right, it works, but then as soon as it goes red, hope you guys can see that, as soon as it goes red, I'll hover this over to where it is at about here, as soon as it goes red, it will not share whatsoever, it just won't share at all. Uh, you guys can see here, I'm going to move this over to exactly where it is, it's here. Hopefully you guys can see it, if you can't, I do apologise, but this is red here. So that would not share at the moment, so all you have to do is just drag this, uh, wrong one, you click on the clip that it's affecting, and then you drag it just into its yellow, just like that, and that will completely fix your problem. So ignore any other videos you've seen about uh, copy and pasting your movie in iMovie, or copy and pasting your project in Final Cut Pro. Uh, into a new one, uh, into a new project, and then trying sharing that. That doesn't actually work, or it at least has never worked for me. I don't actually know what it's doing here. I hope it's not sharing, but uh, whatever it, uh, whatever it's doing, I've, I'll cancel that, whatever. Um, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this little tip. Really, really simple, but it can affect so many people, and you can have edited a video for four or five hours, and then it just won't share, and you can get really annoyed. But that's what the error was guys, it can be red here and you just want to make it yellow. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, let me know down below what you think, as always I thought I'd shed some light on this for you guys. And I'll see you guys over on the next video.